Satnam. Okay, here's a meditation that is better than a cup of coffee. If you feel like you need that cup of joe to kind of just kickstart you in the morning to get the things going and get yourself motivated, well, this is a gazillion times better than a cup of coffee. And it's a meditation, oddly enough. And it's something that you all probably, or at least hopefully do every single day. Usually it's something that we do in the morning. There's a slight difference, though, on how you're going to do this thing that you normally do every single day. And it is a meditation, because what is meditation but singular focused attention? That's meditation. Singular focused attention. So, this process, this meditation process that, again, you all do, but we're going to alter it just slightly. And here's what it is. And as soon as I say it, most of you are like, I'm like, get it. I ain't doing that. But here it is. Every single morning, if you want to be bright, if you want to be alert, if you want to capture the day, if you want the rest of your day to go downhill with ease, then do this. What is this thing going to do for you? Physically, this thing is going to create a shift in your glands and your nerves. Because what it's doing is it's having an adverse effect on your body where you start to freak out. And as you freak out, your body needs to meet the challenge. So if in this process you can meet the challenge during this period of time, it'll help you understand how to meet your challenges throughout the day. And here's what it is. It's a cold shower. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cold. No hot. All cold. And I know a lot of you are like, yep, boop, next video. But please, it's a form of hydrotherapy. The yogis call it ishnan. And it is an ancient technology that they used to use to help heal the body. Don't think of the water, the cold water, as your foe, as your enemy. It's not. It is your absolute best friend. If you're sore from working out, what do most professional athletes do? They get in an ice bath. I'm not talking about taking an ice bath. And I'm not talking about those cryogenic tubes that you can go spend $80, $90 per visit that you know shoot in all kinds of real cold, cold thing, I think from like dry ice. I'm not saying that. I'm saying a cold shower you have in your house. All you got to do is turn the faucet on. And here's what you do. You get in that shower and you stay in that shower until you can match the cold. And what do I mean by that? I mean you match it. You match it to the point where the cold doesn't bother you. So it's really only the first minute or two that's the worst. Where... You're just like, oh, what am I doing? This is crazy. I'm taking a cold shower. This is nuts. Do it. Just trust me and just do it. So when I start the cold shower, <clears throat> I'm not just standing under it shivering. I'm moving around quick. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to match the cold so that it's not bothering me. And you will get to a point where you can match it. And again, why is it a meditation? Well, it's a meditation because the only thing you're going to be thinking about is that cold water. Nothing else is going to matter. That cold water coming down is all you're going to care about. And what's meditation again? Singular focused attention. So all of your attention is going to be in that cold water and when it's going to stop. But stay in it. Stay in it and match it. Match the cold. Because if you can match that simple little thing, putting yourself under stress and duress, and if you can get comfortable with that, and you do, and will, 
What can you do during the course of your day? When challenging situations arise, what will you do? What can you do? You can match it. So this is teaching you to match it. And again, physically, this is secreting different juices that are coming out of the glands. This is taking the blood and bringing it back into survival mode. So it's trying to protect everything. And then once we get out of that shower and our body start to warm up again, all that nice juicy stuff that the glands have just secreted now come back into the blood and that starts to filter through your whole system. Again, there's a whole technology on this Ishnan that the yogis do. Just take a cold shower. Stay in it until the cold doesn't bother you. And it'll bother you initially, but once you match it and you get out of that, it'll set the tone for the whole day. And you will be, boop, 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 boop. you know, I get up every day, 3 30, 4 o'clock, and I don't want to get up. <laughs> I just don't. I don't want to get up every single morning. I'm just like, oh boy. And I get in there, and it's not until I get out of that cold shower that I'm like, <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm ready for the day and I'm ready. And I'm like, all right, let's go. It is a game changer. It is something that you can easily do for yourself. And it does make such an impact and difference in your psyche as well as your physical body. So cold shower. Don't be afraid of it. Use it. It's there, ready and available, waiting for you. It's your friend. Let it transform you. I wish you well. Sat down.